In this series, I'll walk you through my editing workflow. I'll show you how to edit a video from start to finish, from opening a new project, which I'll go over in this video, to uploading the final video to YouTube. Once you've filmed or screen recorded your footage, you need to bring it into LumaFusion to edit it. This area in the center of the LumaFusion window is called the Project Manager, and it's the first thing you see every time you open up LumaFusion. First, Find the footage you want to edit and tap on it. LumaFusion thinks that I want to insert the clip, and since I don't have a project open, I can't. So I'm going to tap on OK, and I'll open a new project. Tap on the plus sign here from the main toolbar. Make sure to delete the default name, and then I will name my project Usually, this is the title of the YouTube video I'm going to make. Throughout this series, I will be editing a video that walks you through the most important parts of the LumaFusion interface. Thus, this title, Understanding the LumaFusion User Interface. Notice that the frame rate and aspect ratio are underneath the name field. You can set these manually, or you can let LumaFusion decide what they should be for you based on the first video clip you add. This is an empty project. Now that you have created your empty project successfully, the next step is to add some footage. If you tap on your clip now, once the audio loads, you can play it from here, but it's not in the timeline yet. There are two ways to add footage to the timeline. The first is to use this icon here. Just tap on it and it will drop the clip into the main timeline. If I hit the undo button to undo that, the other way to add your footage is to song press and hold on the clip that you want to add, drag it over to the main timeline and let go. This will also add the clip to your main timeline. To begin playing the clip, tap the play icon. To pause your clip, Tap pause. pause. To move back to the beginning of the clip, double tap the left facing arrow. To move to the end of the clip, double tap the right facing arrow. The next thing I usually do is chop off the beginning and the end of the clip. I'm going to scrub all the way back to where my audio finishes. And with the clip selected, I'll tap on the scissors to make a cut. And then I'll delete the footage by tapping on the trash can. I'll go back to the beginning of the clip, and I'll play the clip up to the point where my audio starts. Right here. And then I'll select the clip once more, and make another cut. And I'll select this footage, and delete it. This next part is very important. Tap on the settings icon inside your new project and make sure that the aspect ratio is set to 16 by 9 landscape if you're uploading to YouTube. This is what YouTube recommends. There are two ways to begin editing your clip. You can select the clip and tap on the pencil which will open up the clip editor or you can double tap on the clip after it's selected. Notice along the bottom of this screen we have frame and fit, speed and reverse, video stabilization, an audio icon that lets us work with the audio, and color and effects. Throughout this series, you will become very familiar with these five icons. You should set the aspect ratio before you make any cuts to your footage. That way you only have to do it once. If you've made cuts, you'll have to set the aspect ratio multiple times if you have to change it. If you need help, when you're inside LumaFusion, just press and hold on the settings icon, and you'll get a bunch of tips that tell you the name of each icon displayed. 
When to let go, the tips will disappear. Inside this editing window that I refer to as the clip editor, the help icon looks a little bit different and it's also located in a different spot. It's up here next to the clipboard. Just press and hold and you'll get your tips once more. When you let go, the tips will disappear. If I unselect this clip, you'll notice that it has an audio waveform. This clip has both audio and video on the same track. When you begin editing, leave the audio and video on the same track. That way you can edit it easily, especially if it's a longer clip. Join me next time when I show you how to begin editing the video by cutting up the footage.